Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. And a very good Sunday night to you, Heartland. It is raining across the Heartland. Kirksville, you're at 57 degrees with cloudy skies and some showers. Winds are coming from the west, northwest at 14 miles per hour. Dew point is at 55 with a humidity at 94 percent. A ton what? Cloudy skies with some showers, 53 degrees. Winds are coming from the west, northwest at 5 miles per hour. Dew point is at 49 with a humidity at 86 percent. Now we did start off on a sunny and warm note today across the heartland. We went up to the mid 70s. Our high was 76 degrees. We were 10 degrees shy of the record of 86. However, as we headed into the evening hours, we began to see those showers and thunderstorms begin to roll in. We are seeing the heavy of heaviest of it right now across the heartland but we all we're going to be seeing is just some showers and maybe hearing some rumble of thunder as we head into the overnight hours no severe weather is expected overnight lows are going to be at 42 degrees and it's still going to be on the windy side with southwest winds 10 to 15 with gusts up to 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., to kick off the new work week, we're going to be at 43 degrees with cloudy skies, and we're warming up to 50 by 10 a.m. So here's the weather pattern as it's setting up as we head into midweek. Here's the cold front that is giving us the rain right now. It's going to be moving southward over the next 24 hours, but it's just going to sit and linger over Missouri and portions of Illinois, and it's still going to bring some rain into the heartland as we head into to Monday and into the next few days and it's going to continue lingering there as we head into Tuesday leaving behind some spotty showers now we could see anywhere from an inch and a half to an inch of three quarters of rain as we head into midweek and as you can see here's the heaviest of the rain we're getting right now across our area in both southeast Iowa and northeast Missouri it's going to continue lingering we are going to be seeing a break tomorrow morning, but then the rain's going to move back in sometime during the afternoon hours, but just some slight chances. And we're, as you can see, we're still going to get those chances of rain as we head into Tuesday. So for tomorrow, like I said, during the morning, early afternoon, we're going to see a little bit of a break, partly sunny skies with slight chances of rain in the afternoon with breezy conditions with west winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. And it's going to feel a lot cooler behind that cold front as we're going to be seeing a high of only 57 degrees. It's still going to be a good day for events tomorrow, any indoor events such as Truman State University's percussion spring concert that they're going to be having inside the Ophelia Fine Arts Center in Kirksville at 8 o'clock. It's going to be mostly cloudy with 52 degrees. Now we are going to see a break as well tomorrow night with mostly cloudy skies and it's going to feel seasonable as temperatures are going down to 40 degrees with north winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. As you can see in your five-day extended forecast, like I said folks last night, I'm going to start sounding like a repeating record. Rain, 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 and more rain as we head into Thursday. Then finally on Thursday, it's going to be moving out of here, leaving us some partly sunny skies on Friday. But folks, I wish I can warm up the temperatures for you. But it's going to be staying on the chilly side with highs in the 40s and 50s. And don't forget, you can always get your weather 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. We need the rain, Justin, so I'm happy about it. The temperatures, I'm not that happy about. Exactly. We just got to take it, Vanessa. I know. It was such a beautiful day today. It was, but the rain moved in and kind of ruined it. <gasps> it's all righty. I'm here with my weekend team, so that's all that matters. That's what matters. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa.